This is a quick video to show you how to program your Spectrum ESC. Uh, this will work for just about any smart Spectrum ESC and the principles are the same for most modern uh, ESCs. This particular ESC is for the Armour Creighton 8S which is a 1 to 5 scale Creighton as opposed to the uh, 1 to 8 scale Creighton but again uh, this Spectrum ESC is consistent with a lot of uh, Armour vehicles and the same principles broadly ap apply. So for the Armour Creighton 8S, uh, it's actually on uh, page 17 of the manual. You'll find the menu options uh, for the different ESC settings. You can also find these options online and I'll post the link uh, down below. So the first thing you want to do is switch your ESC on. I recommend having your receiver nearby and switched on as well. Uh, you don't have to have it, but it's always recommended to have your receiver connected. So let's switch it on. So our car's ready to go, our EC is ready to go. First thing you want to do is hold this set button, not the power button, the set button uh, for one, one second. And you'll see the green flashing uh, ESC. I'll just move that cable out of the way a little bit there. You can see the green flashing ESC uh, LED, and that indicates that it's now in programming mode. If I select this set button once, you'll see one flash, and that indicates menu item number one. On the armor, that's the running mode, whether you want it in forward brake or forward brake reverse. So right now, menu item number one. If I select and hold that set button for three seconds, you'll see now it's flashing red. And the red is the sub-menu option. So this means, given we've entered menu item number one, we've got item number two running, which is forward, brake and reverse. Item uh, menu one would be just forward and brake, so no reverse option. So we'll switch that off and switch this back on. Now every time you want to exit the menu or you saved your item uh, and again want to exit, you do need to switch it off uh, and back on again. So in this video here, I'm going to show you how to select, uh, how to change your brakes. The gray shaded uh, items on the menu indicate what the default values are, out of the factory, out of the box, uh, what you get from go. I find the brakes on this particular unit to be quite soft, um, and you can do some serious damage because it takes a while to, to slow this beast down or stop this beast. So let's change the brakes. I've already done this, but I'll show you how to change it anyway. So we hold this for our one second. We've got our menu item there. We're in ESC programming mode, flush and green. Uh, and we want to go to menu item number five. So if we push it once, there's one. Push it again, there's two. Push it again, that's three flushes. And if I just wait, it's going to tell me again what menu item I'm in. So I'm in menu item number three. Let's go to menu item number four and then five. So you can see you can count those green LEDs and they flash five times. Switching this, or to enter this particular menu item, we hold the set button again for three seconds. One, two, three. And you see I've got the red flashing LED on six. And six is 87.5%. Now if I want to change that, I can push the set, now it's on 7, and 7 is 100%, uh, push it again, and we go to menu item number 1, let's push it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 62.5%, 5, which is 75%, I think 75% is a good starting point, I've changed the pinion on this car so it goes a bit faster, I want a bit more uh, braking on this, so I've taken it to 87.5%. That's 6. And then to save, I simply press and hold that set button for 3 seconds. And you see the green flashing long beep tells me that I've saved. So now I'm done. My brakes have changed. Uh, I'm going to switch this off. 
and just quickly talk about the other op options on this particular menu. So number one we've talked about, and that's changing it for the inclusion of reverse, whether or not you just want to go forward and brake or forward, brake and reverse. Um, number two, we don't want to touch out of the blocks, that's clock uh, clockwise versus counterclockwise. Uh, number three, which is your low voltage cutoff, uh, being low, medium or high. With this particular model, it doesn't really specify in the manual what the exact voltage cutoff is. Um, now the default is high and I'm pretty sure that's about 3.7 volts per cell. So if you find that you're not really getting that much runtime out of this vehicle, you might want to drop that down to medium, which will lower that, I, I'm guessing 3.7 down to something like 3.5. Again, that's a guess. Uh, but basically what that says is uh, I want to lower I want this car to go for longer and I want the ESC to cut off um, power to the motor um, at a lower voltage, which means I get more runtime out of it. Um, it also means I'm risking damaging the batteries more, um, but I, I'm pretty conf confident that that medium setting is fine as well. I have it on the medium setting um, and you will get some extra runtime there as well. Uh, the, the Beck voltage, the BEC voltage, um, that's effectively how much voltage you've got coming out of your uh, receiver, you could say. So currently it's set to 6 uh, volts um, and you can bump that up to 8.4. Not really necessary on this particular car. You might want to um, pump more voltage through to your servo, uh, in which case you could uh, pump that up to 8.4. You might be running some lights off it and want to experiment with that as well. Um, the brake setting, menu number five, we've talked about. Number six is your reverse strength. I like to keep that low, but if you find, just in case you know you bump it and you run over yourself, uh, if you find you do want that reverse to be a little bit faster than the default 25%, you can bump that up as well. Your punch setting out of the box is three. Um, it's worth putting that up to four. The higher the punch, the better the takeoff, and if you do like doing your wheelies and things like that, then you want to have a higher punch. Uh, and the last one is your motor timing. And the motor timing um, really is, in, in many respects, how fast your motor's running. Uh, if you want some extra speed out of it, uh, you could bump that up. A uh, word of warning, I would uh, make sure that you're checking your temperature um, with both that and, your, and potentially even your punch change. Check your temperature to make sure you're not overheating or you're not stressing the vehicle too much um, because you could do some damage there as well. But that's it. Thank you. Bye.